Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judean's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for the Walking Dead universe, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another video leading up to Ones Who Live. After that big teaser we got yesterday, I want to do a video on Operation Cobalt and Beale's responsibility for not only Atlanta's falling, as well as LA's bombing. All right, guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for the Walking Dead universe. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another discussion video. This one's going to be talking about the brand new teaser that we got for the ones who live. We're going to talk about Operation Cobalt. Yes, that is relevance again. I know some people are going to be like, Operation Cobalt? That was like years ago in the Walking Dead uh, universe. Well, um, we got a new clip in the newest teaser. And I, you know, when I did the trailer breakdown yesterday, I, I was kind of like, man, am I just like not seeing it right? You know, like, but no, there was a lot of people that were, were commenting this same thing is that yeah that is the shot from 201 of fear the walking dead and basically what i'm referring to to fill you all in if you guys didn't watch the video is that basically which check it out the full trailer breakdown on the channel i guess uh you know i'll mention that as well but um basically there's a shot in the newest ones who live teaser right and it's the same shot as we see in 201 of fear the walking dead when la is getting bombed right and it's, you know, obviously Operation Cobalt, right? And in The Walking Dead, we obviously know that Atlanta got bombed as well, too. And we see Atlanta getting bombed in the first Ones Who Live trailer, right? And then in this newest teaser, we see LA getting bombed. And we see that included as well, too. So it's really, really starting to feel like this show is going to be the most important show you could ever watch for The Walking Dead. Besides the main Walking Dead, you should definitely watch that. This is definitely going to be very important because we've got, you know, season one Walking Dead connections. We've got season two now of Fear of the Walking Dead connections. World Beyond has characters crossing over from it, you know. Um, and who knows what else they could be connecting. You know, they could do something about New York. You never know. So, um, point being is that we are definitely 100% connecting at least three walking dead shows in this uh in this series we're connecting the main show because obviously of who we're following um also you know atlanta being bombed we are now also following uh world beyond because we're getting you know jadis we're getting uh probably silas i would assume and i think leo bennett as well too and uh finally we're getting fear of the walking dead because we're getting all these connections to la and and all these other, you know, things like that. And it, it kind of makes me laugh because at the end of Fear of the Walking Dead, you had Madison and Alicia that were like, oh, let's go back to, you know, uh, uh, you know, LA and stuff. And, and Alicia's like, yeah, well, we saw it get bombed and stuff. And she's, she's like, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, let's go back, you know? So, um, I don't know, you know, I do find it kind of interesting that in terms of just the overall, uh, franchise, we're connecting three shows, and it's the first three shows that ever existed for The Walking Dead. You can definitely tell they're trying to sweep tails out of the, you know, out of the conversation a little bit. But, um, you know, aside from that, all the big prominent shows before this new era of spinoffs like Dead City and Daryl Dixon are getting acknowledged in this show in one way, shape, or form. This show, and I've heard many people consider it as the season twelve. I don't necessarily call it that, but it definitely is a sequel show to The Walking Dead. You know, Dead City and Daryl Dixon on a technicality are sequel shows, but this show feels like an actual connection. You know, this show feels like a real continuation of the end of The Walking Dead, which is what I really appreciate about it. So, um... Getting to see Operation Cobalt, getting to see probably flashbacks of Beale when he was, you know, doing all this stuff back in the day is going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait to see how they adapt that and how they bring that to life. That's going to be an absolutely insane moment. And I feel like it's going to be done throughout this insane montage too. And I don't even feel like we're going to see this right away. I feel like this scene is going to be like in the finale or something. Like it's going to be a huge reveal at the end of the show that they were responsible for all that stuff, you know? Um, and again, you know, I, I don't know how far they're going to go with this. Is the helicopter that Rick saw in the pilot of the show going to be CRM? Or is that still, as they say, the chopper that Governor shot down? I don't know, you know, will they change it? Will they try to, you know, switch it around? Who knows? But, you know, either way, I'm very excited for it. I'm very excited to see how they, they handle all this stuff. And now that they're bringing LA into it, I think that really is going to be really cool because, you know, if you're The Walking Dead, it's no surprise here. It's it's not a great show, but, you know, if they can at least find a way to connect it and make it, you know, kind of matter here and there, I think that'd be really cool. So, yeah, that'd be awesome. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below what are you guys expecting for all this stuff. Do you guys think that LA and all these connections and all that stuff is exactly what's going down? 
I 100% think so. I think that's why they're showing all this stuff in the teasers. No, I don't think it's reused footage to represent a new scene. I don't think so. I think this is a, a piece of reused footage because we're about to find out exactly what went down um, when Operation Call Ball took place. So that'll be cool. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Of course, if you knew the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of the Walking Dead universe. Make sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos of the Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Oh.